Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Holding the powerful accountable. Governor, the DEP keep you in the dark. Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. Ballot stolen, voter fraud suspected in Pinellas County. An Indian Shores man got a letter in the mail warning something was up with his mail-in ballot. Yeah, yeah, something was up all right. Someone apparently swiped both his and his wife's mail-in ballots, voted, signed the ballots, and then sent them to the Pinellas County Elections Office to be counted. He contacted Target 8 Senior Investigator Steve Andrews to get to the bottom of it. A week and a half ago, a supervisor of elections went on our air and said, voter fraud does not exist. Well, friends, let me tell you, voter fraud is alive and well in Pinellas County, and here is the proof. Counting early voting and mail-in ballots is well underway in Pinellas County. Now Target 8 has learned there are questions about some of them. Somebody apparently took both of our ballots and voted for us. Chris Cronin got a letter from the Pinellas Supervisor of Elections stating the office received his mail-in ballot, but the signature on the ballot return envelope does not match our records. So he called them up. But I called the number and I said, look, I never voted. Chris says his wife Michelle also got an earful when she called about the mail-in ballot she never received. We have your ballot here also, and it's signed, but it doesn't match the signature we have on file. And she said, it looks like the same person who signed your husband signed this one. Staffers checking every ballot return envelope caught the phony signature on Chris's stolen ballot. They did not catch the one on Michelle's. And you know what that means? Whoever stole her ballot and voted in her place, that vote counts? Unfortunately, yes. Um, that vote did count and made it through our tabulation area. Um, this was uh, one of those situations that is unfortunate. Spokesman Jason Latimer explains each ballot return envelope has a voter name and barcode. The ballots do not. Once signatures are verified, the ballots and envelopes are separated, and there's no way to tell who cast which ballot. Now, Chris and his wife must sign affidavits and go to a polling place to vote. If she's not able to vote, again, you have an imposter voting in her place. And, and we've spoken to Mrs. Cronin, and we're going to make every effort we can to make sure that she gets to cast this ballot. We hear about the election being rigged, et cetera, and being reassured that there's nothing like this happening, but it is. It, it happened to me. It happened to my wife. My wife. According to Jason Latimer, the Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections Office sent out about 500 letters to voters informing them that the signatures on the ballots, return envelopes, do not match the signatures that are on their voter registration files. And of that group, how many of those are claiming that they had not voted? He tells me this is the only case he knows of so far. Now, for folks who are still waiting for mail-in ballots, you can go to the website for the Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections and actually track when they mailed it to you and if someone has sent it back to them if they've received it. Right. So that's a way to find out. And to double check, yeah. just to be sure. Thank you, Steve. And if you have a problem that you think needs to be investigated, you can call Steve. Our Target 8 helpline is 1-800-338-0808.